Question 2 from Section 2 of the 2019 Higher Physics SQA exam. A student abseils down at the outside of a building using a rope as shown in the diagram. The diagram is not drawn to scale. The mass of the student is 55 kilograms and the rope of negligible mass, which means you can forget about the mass of the rope, is attached to a fixed point X at the top of the building. The rope makes an angle of 15 degrees to the building itself. Our first job for three marks is to calculate the weight of the student. Well, we know that the weight W of any object on the Earth or any planet is equal to M times G, where G is the gravitational field strength of the planet. We're on the planet Earth, so G will be 9.8 newtons per kilogram. So all we have to do is plug in the numbers, so the weight W is equal to 55 kilograms, that's the mass of the person, multiplied by, on this planet, 9.8 newtons per kilogram. So we do that in our calculators, we end up with 539, and we see the kilograms, cancel the kilograms, and it's 539 newtons. Now we can use uh, significant figures here because the student's mass is 55 kilograms, that's two significant figures. The gravitational field strength, 9.8, is two significant figures. So really our final answer should be in two significant figures. So the weight should be written as 540 newtons, given the weight of the person to two significant figures. Question 2b. First of all, we have to determine the tension T in the rope. To begin with, let's draw two axes, a vertical one and a horizontal one, centred on a little dot, which is going to represent the student. And now what we do is we sketch in the forces acting on the student. Now we know the very first one, we just calculated it a minute ago, and that is the weight acting downwards, the 540 newtons acting downwards. We also know that the student is not moving in a vertical direction, so therefore there must be a force acting upwards, a vertical force acting upwards, which must have the same size, or the same magnitude of 540 newtons. So that must be the vertical force. But we also know that the rope is providing a tension force as shown like that. Now, where does the 540 newtons come from? It must come from the vertical component of the tension. So we can make up a little diagram, a triangle like that. That will be a right angle triangle in here. And we can see we've got the tension and we've got the 540 newtons. Now what about the angle? Well, we know that the angle the rope makes with the wall, if I can draw this line in here like that, is going to be 15 degrees. Now, that 15 degrees is outside the triangle we're looking at. So we really want to find an angle inside the triangle. So we can see that we've got a set of Z angles. And that's the set of Z angles there. So if that's 15 degrees here, this angle in here must be 15 degrees as well. So now we have a full triangle. You can see if we just mention the triangle, we have got the right angle here, we've got the 540 side here, we've got the tension here, we've got a right angle and a 15 degrees. So we can go away and calculate what this tension is by using the cosine of the trig. So cos of 15 degrees will be equal to the adjacent of that triangle divided by the hypotenuse of the triangle. And that's going to equal to the adjacent side is 540 newtons divided by the hypotenuse, which is T, which is what we're after. So we've now got that cos 15 degrees is 540 divided by T. So we cross multiply, we have got T cos of 15 degrees is going to equal to 540. Therefore we divide by cos 15 degrees and we've got the tension T of the rope is 540 divided by cos 15 degrees. And if we do that in my calculator, we get an answer of 559 newtons. So now we've found the tension in the rope to be 559 newtons.
We can keep the two significant figures and say that the tension of the rope is equal to 560 newtons to two significant figures. So that's how we find the tension in the rope. Key point, draw the diagram out and look for the triangles. Question 2C. As the student abseils down the building, the angle the rope makes with the building decreases. State whether the tension the rope increases, decreases or stays the same. And you must justify your answer. So make the statement and then justify it by using some maths or by using a diagram to back up what your statement is. Now, that's two methods of doing this. We'll look at the route 1 method and that's just by looking at the maths. Now, we know from the previous example that the tension in the rope was equal to the weight of the abseiler, 540 newtons, divided by cosine of the angle which the rope made with the wall. And we worked that out and it gave us a value of 560 newtons. So we know the numerical value of the tension. But if we go to a new tension where in fact we have 540 newtons, the same weight, but this time the angle is going to be a bit smaller, we'll say guess an angle, 7 degrees, then if we do that in our calculator, we end up with an answer of 544 newtons. So you can see that the tension has actually decreased, so tension has got smaller. The tension has got smaller, the smaller the angle, the smaller the angle. And that's us proved that we have made our statement, tension has got smaller, the smaller the angle the rope is with the wall. The rope is against the wall. And that's that bit done. So there's a statement and there's our maths to prove it. And that's how you go about doing this question. But on another level, we can go and look at the diagram of what's happening. Here we have the diagram with the original tension. That angle in there is 15 degrees. Now, we could put the wee 15 degrees in here like that and show that that's 15 degrees. Now, if we make an angle with the rope against the wall at a smaller angle, we have something like this. There's a new tension. And there is our smaller angle, which is making an angle in there like that. That's a smaller angle. So that means that will be a smaller angle in there as well. But if you look at it, the length of this tension vector must be small compared to the original tension. So the tension has decreased in order to give us the same vertical component of the tension. So you can see that a new tension, T dashed here, is actually smaller than the original tension just by making the angle between the wall and the rope smaller. So that's one way of doing it, you could write that out in words, but the most preferred method is just simply stick to the mathematics of it. Mm -hmm.